This is Saxton Algebra 1 half, second edition, lesson 94, and this lesson is called Roots by Cut and Try. Cut and Try, um, new, new method, okay? We know that when we have um, a number like this, that the cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. We know that the fourth root of 16 is equal to 2 because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. But when we have a number that we don't have a true square or cube or, or anything root for, then we kind of have to guess at, at what that might be. So, I'm going to say here um, the cube root of 5 would be what? Or the fourth root of 5 would be what? Well, I really don't know, so I'm going to have to, to start guessing. There's a procedure. Alright, so the first example in your book says use cut and try to estimate the third root of 5 to one decimal place. Alright, now this is going to be important that you remember one decimal place, okay? So we're looking for what number times itself three times would be equal to five. So we start with low numbers. One cubed is one, but two cubed is eight. Five falls here in the middle of one and eight. So it's got to be somewhere between one and two. So we're going to start, okay, just start somewhere. We'll start at one and a half. 1 and a half times 1 and a half times 1 and a half, that is 3.375. That's not enough. So we're going to go up some. Let's go to 1.8. <clears throat> when we cube that, we have 5.832. Well, that's too high. So we'll go down to 1.7. 1.7 cubed is 4.913. Not quite 5, so it's a little too low. I put in 1.73 and I got 5.18. So it's we know that it's definitely somewhere between 1.70 and 1.73. But it said, remember, use um, estimate to one, and it did say estimate to one decimal place. If I estimate to one decimal place, it doesn't matter it's still going to be 1.7. This little um, symbol right here, you haven't seen that yet, it is like a squiggly line equals mark and it means approximately. So we estimated that. Alright, this says estimate the square root of 7 to one decimal place. So what number times itself equals 7? Well I know that 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. So I'm looking for something in between 2 and 3. So again, I'm going to start up here high. 2.8 squared is 7.84. That's too high. 2.7 squared is 7.29, still a little high. 2.6 squared is 6.76. So 2.64 squared would be 6.9696, and that keeps repeating. 2.65 squared would equal 7.0225. Very, very close. But if we have to go to one decimal place, and we know it's somewhere in between here, it's all we need to know is that the square root of 7 is approximately equal to 2.6. Okay, so you see how you do that. There's a lot of just guessing. Um, I, would, I would advise you to do this, show your work like this. Don't just put it into a calculator. You can use a calculator to help you check, but, uh, or to do the actual math of, say, 2.64 times 2.64, but don't just um, rely on the calculator alone. You need to show your work on these. Alright, so let's do your practice problem. 
the cubed root of 15. That means what number times itself three times is 15. Now remember the higher this number, usually the smaller number we're looking for. So we're going to start with 1, which is the smallest, and 1 cubed is equal to 1. 2 cubed is equal to 8. 3 cubed is equal to 27. So bingo, 15 falls between 2 cubed and 3 cubed. So that's where we're going to have to start kind of guessing. I'm going to start with, say, 2.5. So now this is where you can use your calculator. When I did, I found that 2.5 times itself three times is equal to 15.625. So a little high. So I'm going to go down to say 2.3. Now I need to make that more of a decimal. 2.3 cubed. So I'm going to plug that in. And I'm going to say 2.3 times 2.3 times 2.3 is equal to 12.167. So that's not quite it. Let's do 2.4. Times 2.4 times 2.4 is equal to 13.8. 824 still too low so let's see 2.45 let's do that 2.45 times 2.45 times 2.45 is equal to 14.706 Let's do um, 2.48, and that is going to give me 15.252. So I know that it's somewhere between 2.45 and 2.48, but if I'm told to estimate to one decimal place, it really doesn't matter what this number is. It's going to be the cubed root of 15 is approximately equal to 2.4. Okay, let's do the next one. So this says the square root of 23. Well, I know that 4 squared is 16, but 5 squared is 25. Obviously, I know that it's going to be closer to 5 than 4, so let's say 4.75 squared, and let's see what we get there. 22.5625. So let's try 4.8 squared. 4.8 squared is equal to 23.04. Almost perfect. So whether it's um, 4.75 or 4.8, if I'm estimating to one decimal place, this 5 would make me round this 7 up to an 8. So I would say that the square root of 23 is approximately equal to 4.8. That's how that works. Um, hopefully it'll be fairly simple for you. You do need to know your, your square roots and your cube roots particularly. Um, and as long as we've been doing them, you should have memorized some by now. See you next time for Lesson 95.